Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about how I maintain my hair during washes. Um, I get a lot of questions about like, you know, what product I use, what's my routine, and I have done um, videos about, you know, my product and my wash routine or my post-wash routine. Um, but I am going to share with you what I actually do between washes today. Um, because um, some of you might know from you know my past videos and stuff I don't wash my hair that often I wash my hair every four to five weeks I'd say simply because that's just what works for me it's what works for my routine and my hair because um, I tend to be really busy with like college and placement and stuff like that so I'm just gonna be sharing with the six tips on what helps me to you know maintain my hair until I wash it the next time number one is low manipulation now for some like low manipulation can mean one thing for one person and something else for another person for me it's literally just manip <laughs> manipulate your hair as um, like less often as possible as less I don't even know how to explain it just don't be fiddling around with your hair like you don't need to touch it all the time and comb it and you know do all this nonsense with it like literally just leave your hair alone that's one tip that that I found has helped me um, so basically that leads on to tip two which would be a protective style now as you can see I just have this braid thing in my hair at the moment and that's literally my go-to style I've been wearing my hair like this since the start of the year I'd say maybe even before that since like the end of last year and I've seen you know significant growth improvement in my hair since I stopped doing you no know, different styles with it and trying to find what works for it I literally just leave my hair alone once a week I will you know take it down oil my scalp moisturize and seal and then just put it back into another protective style or just the same protective style again and that really does help me um so yeah protective style can either be you know a braid like this it can be a bun anything that doesn't leave the ends of your hair exposed basically um so yeah protective style and no low manipulate no manipulation low manipulations number three would be to moisturize water 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 like seriously trust me water should be your best friend um i spritz my hair with water about every two to three days sometimes every day just whenever i feel like i just have my little spray bottle thing and i spritz my hair with water and then i depend like if my hair is in a protective style at the time I will just get some coconut oil or olive oil and just you know smooth it over my hair like that and then um, sometimes I'll just you know put a little bit on my scalp just if there is a bit of my scalp exposed obviously if I have a bun I'm not gonna you know take out the bun to oil my scalp but I just kind of smooth the oil all over my hair and that's just to lock in whatever moisture is there just to keep it in there until the next time I'm able to moisturize my hair. Number four, like I just said, is to seal. A lot of people get kind of confused and they think that by putting oil into your hair, you're moisturizing it, but you're just, oil is to seal the moisture in. So it kind of goes hand in hand with tip three, which is, you know, to moisturize with water. Then you have to follow with the other step, which is to seal the moisture in that you just added to your hair. And tip five, would be for me anyway a healthy scalp is very important personally i have dry scalp i know i've mentioned this in a couple of my videos before i have really really dry scalp and it's really hard for me to stretch out my washes and you know keep a protective style in for long enough if my scalp is really itchy and flaky and all of that so like i said in my previous hair video i'll link it here if you haven't seen it and i basically mentioned that i use castor oil and tea tree oil for my scalp and trust me it is a godsend like it works like magic literally you put it in and it works for the whole week or even you know two weeks and there's just no itching no flaking and yeah it's magic like I said so that really works for me to keep my washes and to keep my hair in as healthy a state for as long as possible until the next time I'm able to wash my hair 
And I mean, if you don't have super dry scalp and you don't want to add in the tea tree oil because it stinks, um, <laughs> you can just use whatever oil you want. Just make sure you're not overdoing it with the oil because at the same time, you don't want to weigh your hair down with oil. So keep the oil in and stuff to a minimum because I remember when I first, you know, started this whole healthy hair journey, I just thought oil was the key to everything and I literally would saturate my hair in oil and it'd be like all running down my face and everything the next day. Oh god, it was absolutely disgusting. You don't want that. So oil your hair to seal in the moisture but don't oil it too much. And number six would be to wrap your hair at night for the love of God. Like seriously, don't be lazy. It takes five seconds to wrap your hair. Um, you can get a silk or a satin scarf would work the best but if you don't just you know wrap your hair with anything as long as it's not you know there's that friction is prevented because friction does result in dryness as we all know um, so yeah I just wrap my hair with I think I don't even know what material it is to wrap my hair with I just wrap it with a scarf every night like even if I'm half asleep when I realize I haven't wrapped my hair I wake up wrap my hair and then I'll go back to sleep and that's just what works for me and it really just keeps my hair um, it keeps my protective style in place again for as long as possible until I'm able to take it out and wash my hair again or you know moisturize and do all of that and also what I do is I use a leave-in conditioner every week so each time I do the takedown and the moisturizing and sealing and the oil on my scalp I'll also use a leave-in conditioner as well as water. Like I never leave out the water. Like I said, the water is very important. It's the best moisturizer. Like all these different moisturizers and products that you see, they all contain some sort of substitute for water or water themselves. So, you know, pure water is really the best thing you can get. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys find this helpful anyway. These are just some tips I find really work for me and I thought I would share them with you and if you have any comments or questions or anything leave them in the comment section below and if you liked this make sure to thumbs up this video it really helps and if you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for like seriously the button's right there or here I think it's here no it's down there somewhere anyway press the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye I'll link it here. <laughs> I'll link it here. <laughs> Spare fingers. Spare fingers. Um, anyways.